Hey guys, it's Shy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, here we are, another year is gone. How did we get here? I don't know. I literally feel like I just filmed this and here we are another year later. Um, this will be my now my second year on YouTube, which is super weird as well. Um, but here we go. I was debating on even doing this and I put a poll on my Instagram and a bunch of you guys were like, hell no, we wanna see your favorites, you better. So we're gonna dive in. It's gonna be lengthy. I'm gonna try to get through it quickly. Bear with me. Um, I do have, I'm gonna start trying to do it in order of my routine. So skincare, going into makeup, um, hair, skincare, then makeup. Okay, so let's dive in. Uh, the only two that I'm really gonna talk about for hair is just what I've been using consistently. These two from Garnier, I cannot live without. Actually, the only hair products that I use are from Garnier. So I use the Triple Nutrition Shampoo, the Grow Strong Conditioner, and literally my hair is so soft. Uh, every time I go to my hairstylist, she's always like, God, your hair is so healthy, it looks so good, it's growing so much, and I'm like, yeah, I use Garnier. Um, she said to keep using it, and she's a professional, so we're gonna trust her. But I first go in with this intensely smooth leave-in conditioning cream. It has argan and Moroccan oil, or argan oil in it. Um, and then I also go in with this. This is the Pure Clean Detangler and Air Dry Al with Aloe Extract. Extract? I can't speak. Anyways, these two are a godsend. My hair is hella thick, um, quite chemically processed. We decided to go blonde this last year from jet black box dye. So that's been a very, very exhilarating journey. Uh, but yeah, these I cannot live without, will not live without, and I highly recommend that you try them. And shout out to my BFF, Alex, who actually recommended the Grow Strong conditioner to me and started this whole Garnier train. So... Thank you for saving my hair. Um, moving right along into skincare, guys, we are gonna talk about just a couple face washes. Um, this is from Murad. This is the Anti-Aging Acne. I really, really liked this. It's a weird consistency, though. Um, it doesn't really foam up. That bugged me for some reason, um, I, but I really liked it. I did use the whole thing. It did help control my acne, so gotta give it an honorable mention. But really, guys, I haven't even talked, I don't know if I've talked about this on camera yet. This is all I'm gonna use as a go forward. We're done trying face washes. We found her. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E Gentle Face Wash. I went into the Body Shop this past year. Turns out, I am a dehydrated bitch. And I don't know if that shocked anyone. So uh, yeah, I have skin problems like crazy. I have had severe acne my whole life. Now my skin is quite combo. I don't know really what it's doing, but this, oh my God, my skin loves it first and foremost. It feels wonderful on the skin. It feels hydrating and smoothing. It just feels so lovely. And it doesn't freak my skin out. My skin's gotten dramatically better. It looks really good. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin, which is hella crazy. Um, it's got vitamin E and moisturizing wheat germ oil. But if you need a good face wash, just try it. Try it, and I think you're gonna really like it. Um, I do wanna talk about this face oil. So this is from Fourth Ray Beauty, and this is their cleansing oil. It's so good. I have, this is like my fourth time repurchasing it. Huh? Fourth ray. It's my fourth time repurchasing it. I really like it. It doesn't cause any additional acne. It does completely close so you can travel with it very easily. I haven't had any issues with it spilling on any of my um, luggage or anything. I absolutely adore this. Um, another really good cleansing balm is from Pharmacy. Their Green Clean, I believe is the name of it. That I've completely gone through. You'll see that in an empties video coming up, but that's another really good one. But this one is so affordable and it just is magnificent. It'll take off all of your makeup. It's a great first cleanse and it's really gentle on the skin. So this is my favorite. If you're looking for a good face brush, um, you guys have heard me talk about this time and time again. 
This is the Duval um, Brilliance, I believe, face brush. Uh, it's got a couple different speeds on it. I always use the exfoliating head because I have really poor cell turnover. I am an adult with acne, life is grand. So this gets my skin, the skin super duper clean and I haven't been breaking out. So, you know, with my new little skincare routine, life has been phenomenal and I highly recommend a face brush to everyone. My mom uses it, she uses a gentle. Um, brush head on it and really really likes it. It has replaced my Clarisonic. I prefer it more It is what it is um, I do have a coupon code with them too. You get 70% off. It's always in my description box I get no commission from that at all um, I just happen to be on their PR list and they sent this to me and I have raved about it time and time and time again So I highly recommend it going in to toner and sorry if I keep getting my hair out of my face. I have this like weird like, let me show you guys my hair really quick so you can see. So my hair is here. I have this weird piece that broke off forever ago. And when my hair is behind me, it likes to creep forward and it irritates me. So you're going to have to bear with the hair flipping. But going into toner, this is so, so good. So this is the from the Body Shop, same line as that face wash. This is um, the Vitamin E Hydrating Toner. Guys gotta try this it feels phenom first and foremost doesn't break me out my skin just feels plump and luscious and clean and fabulous and you I have you have to try it if you have somewhat of drying dehydrated skin try it you're gonna probably think me later um, another toner though if you are having really bad acne and oily skin check this bad boy out. Shout out to Vanessa, one of my dearest, dearest friends that recommended this and I really, really liked it. You can tell I used quite a bit. Um, this is the Balancing Force Oil Control Toner from Ol Hendrickson. Works beautifully when you're extra oily. Um, if I break out really bad, I do utilize this one. Um, since my skin has been under control lately, I'm using my hydrating toner and quite enjoying it. But this one is great. It has salicylic acid in it, so it is a wonderful little friend to acne. Um, speaking of wonderful little friend acne, we're going to move on to my plethora of serums and products now. This is going to be a long portion. Grab a snack because we're going to be here for a minute. Um, can't live without this. Use it every day. Um, this is the Peter Thomas Roth AHA BHA Acne Clearing Gel. This has salicylic acid and glycolic acid in it. Um, I use it here through this portion and kind of through here and it really controls my breakouts like so it really really controls them um it is amazing and i've had it for probably a couple months now and i am only to here on it and i use it every single day so it's gonna last quite a bit you do get 3.4 fluid ounces in it it is not cheap i don't think it's overly expensive either though it's extremely effective and it doesn't overly dry out my skin either Continuing with acne products, um, there is this lovely little guy that we got to talk about. So this is the Dermalogica Active Clearing Serum. This is from their Age Bright line. It is made for adult acne. If you have adult acne and need to get it under control, I highly recommend this entire Dermalogica line. It dramatically changed my life, and I know that's weird to say, but I had such horrifically severe acne that I couldn't get under control and I used this line for most of the year and it really just fixed my skin and now I'm able to use more moisturizing products and I don't have to use this crazy acne routine every day and I'm really grateful for it. I went through probably four of these serums so I would just douse my face in it. It feels really good. Um, it's a great one and this line is for adult acne. So you, it's for mature skin that is dealing with acne because we tend to have poor cell turnover and there's a lot that goes into that as well. It's not just um, what happens in, if you're maybe like, you know, in your teens, it is a little bit different, but definitely recommend the entire Age Bright um, adult acne line from Dermalogica. Now we are going to talk about some 
vitamin C products. So this is from Pharmacy. This is their Very Cherry Bright 15% Clean Vitamin C Serum. This is made with cherries. I really liked this, guys. It did not freak my skin out. It was very brightening. Um, I really thoroughly enjoyed it, and I it looks completely full almost still. I've only used a little bit because a little goes a long way with this. I truly, truly enjoyed it. If you're looking for a good vitamin C serum, I do recommend it. Um, and they are clean. I really try to focus around clean skincare as much as possible. And they are on that. Um, another good serum though. Oh, okay. So I have been waiting to talk about this. This is from, I believe it's called Rail. Um, skincare, Rail Beauty, right there. I got this for free in an influencer box. If you don't know what influencer is, anyone can sign up, it's free. Um, you review anything from like Windex to skincare and they'll send you some free stuff to review sometimes, which is great. Um, this is their Good Chemistry Advanced Antioxidant Serum. Um, this has vitamin C-like properties in it. Um, and I have only been using, where is it? These two for the last month. I haven't used anything else. And my skin is phenomenal. So um, I'm still gonna talk about all the products because I am a skincare junkie. I've just been trying this out and really thoroughly testing it and I am in love with it. So um, it is a, very gentle serum. You can just pat it into your skin, um, but it's replaced all my other serums. It is wonderful. They're cruelty-free, um, very, very clean. There's no fragrance added to it. I'm obsessed with this. Um, they also have, I don't know where I put it, but there's also these little like snowballs that came with it that are hyaluronic acid. You just like open it, you put the serum in it, you mix the little ball and it's like pure hyaluronic acid, um, freeze dried. My skin absolutely loves it. It just feels delicious and just try this. It's so good. It's so, so good. My mom tried it and really liked it and she has very mature dry skin. I have very combo skin, very acne prone. I cannot live without it at this point in my life. A really good retinol alternative product is the Bacuchol from Herbivore. This one um, I'm literally almost out of. This is a smoothing serum. It is a retinol alternative. Um, as you get older, you do need to start using some type of retinol or retinol alternative. Um, and it can really help with, you know, brightening of the skin, fine lines, all of that. Um, I prefer a retinol alternative because I cannot use sunscreen. I'm se severely, severely allergic to SPF. So retinol does make you very sensitive to the sunlight. A plant alternative is not always as effective as a true retinol, but it, if you use it every single day, it can really help. Um, this one I really like. It's very gentle on the skin. I haven't had any freakouts from it, and I do notice that my skin is quite smooth. I thoroughly enjoy that little guy right there. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go over moisturizers really quick. This is the Volition Celery Green Cream. I use it every single day. I love it so, so much. It has peptides and hyaluronic acid in it. It has celery. It's very gentle on the skin. They are clean uh, skincare brand. And I just, it's perfect. It's perfect. I also thoroughly enjoy the Belief um, Aqua Balm. It's a very great moisturizer that is lightweight and works very well if you have oily skin. And then I also really enjoy this one is from Good Molecules, which I love Good Molecules products. All their products I've tried and absolutely adore. Um, but this one really was my standout of the year. This is their silicone free priming moisturizer. It's got um, plant derived silicone alternative in it um, that really helps hydrate the skin. It doesn't have actual silicone because you know it can cause people to break out, but it's fragrance free. It's absolutely lovely. Um, if you're looking for a really good um, gentle moisturizer, I highly recommend this and you get 1.7 ounces in there, which is quite a bit. 
Um, their other product that I literally cannot live without and use every single day is their Pure Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. Um, so this I will actually put in either with my moisturizer or just pat it into my skin before I go to bed. It's really helped with my acne scarring, as random as that is. It's helped with my hydration levels. Um, it is just such a lovely, lovely product. Um, and I literally keep it on my desk. I use it at all times. I will not not travel with this either. Even when I went to Cabo or this past year with my family, I brought this because I was like, I will not live without this. You will be there. And uh, you can travel with it because it's only 0.44 fluid ounces. So yay. And last but not least, um, I did discover these just recently in the past couple of weeks. These are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Um, these, oh my God, instantly started seeing some difference. So I've been just holding it on my acne scarring and then kind of rubbing it all over the face to really help tone it's to exfoliate and brighten but it's supposed to help with um scarring and pigmentation and things like that it's really helped mine i can already tell um the difference because when i scar i scar bad um, i have seen der um not dermatologists estheticians talk about maybe they're dermatologists i don't know i watch a lot of videos on here anyways that um hispanic women tend to scar really bad so i don't know if that because i'm hispanic it links back to that and that's one of the reasons i scar so bad um but if i get an acne flare-up it's gonna scar me red and it sucks um th this little guy will not go away i like have to name it and just like have it be a part i'm gonna start putting like a black dot there and pretending it's a mole um it's a scar at this point it's just scar tissue i don't i don't know but these help dramatically with the pigmentation. I've already seen a huge difference. I've been using it morning and night for two weeks consistently. You do get 60 pads in here, so it really only is a month's worth. I've seen a lot of people talk about cutting them in half. I just don't wanna take my scissors to them because they're not, I don't have like alcohol to clean my scissors to make them sanitary, but once I do, I'll probably do that to save myself some coin. Now, I think it's time for makeup. First and foremost, thank you if you've made it to makeup because uh, that skincare was lengthy and I didn't want to make this two separate videos. I just figured I'll put a timestamp in the bottom and if you only care about makeup, here we are. Hi and hello. And if you only care about skincare, the other one, and if you care about the both, you made it through. So, of course, we're going to talk about primer. Need I say more? Uh, Milk Hydro Grip, every, every almost favorite video that I've watched on YouTube has included this. It's the best. I will not live without it. Um, I tried other primers because I thought it was breaking me out. It wasn't. I don't know what the hell was breaking me out, but it wasn't my precious, precious primer, and that's kind of all I care about. It grips your makeup. It does everything that you need it to do. Just, just do it. The other two primers that I did use and quite thoroughly enjoy are from Cover Effects. I have the Water Cloud Primer, um, which has a pollution and blue light defense. I don't know if it really works, but I mean, that's cool. And then the Cover Effects Blurring Pore Minimizing Primer. This one is even cool to use if you're doing an absolute no makeup day because it really doesn't have any pigment to it. And you can just kind of rub it in your T-zone area and it looks a little bit more blurred. I do like these quite a bit, but I just, I love the Milk Hydro Grip. I love like I like these but I love that so like that's the star of the show um, for foundation okay so we've, I had a quite a bit I mean I tried countless this past year um, and my favorite of all time um, I just discovered so we're gonna talk about this one first hi <laughs> this is the brand spanking new wet and wild dewy photo focus there is like a little makeup tutorial um, slash review of this coming probably directly after this video. I'm wearing it right now. Um, this is what's on my face. It wears beautifully. Oh my God, it's everything I've ever wanted in a foundation. Um, it smooths, it doesn't enhance my texture, it wears long, it looks glowy on the skin. Um, it stale stays put. It's it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything, which is really crazy to me too. Like it's so, so comfortable and it's $6. Um, I haven't seen it in stores. I did order it from the website and I ordered like, I think three or four additional colors. So I have it for every stage of my self tanned life. So this is the star of 2019. These two makeup stars. 
I cannot live without them and I won't and I don't have to so that's life uh also want to talk about so I did discover this drugstore foundation as well. This is the CoverGirl True Blend. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. Has beautiful coverage on it. Um, is quite satin and luminous throughout the day. It wore beautifully. I find myself reaching for it quite a bit. Even if I just use it as mix-ins to make other foundations just wear a little bit better, look a little bit better, I reach for this quite a bit. And I did buy that one in a couple different colors too. Um, if you are looking for like full-blown coverage, look no further than the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. I picked this up because Raw Beauty Christy loves it and I love her, so I had to try it and I went through multiple bottles of this. I have multiple colors. Um, I have this one chilling over here. It is phenomenal. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it does feel a little bit thick. Once it sets on your face, you really can't feel it. It's phenomenal when I'm breaking out or have a lot of pigmentation. It will cover everything. Um, just, um, it does feel thicker now that I've been using this the last week. Um, I did try to use this and it just felt a little bit thicker to me. And then I mixed the two and it was just beautiful. So, um, this though I have to mention and it works really well if you have oily skin too. I know Raw Beauty Christy has very, very dry skin. Um, before I got more combo, it was quite oily and this would last beautifully on the day. Beautifully. For concealer, the only one I want to talk about that I discovered in 2019 that meant anything to me is the CoverGirl True Blend. I'm wearing it today. I haven't reached for anything else since I first tried it. Um, I was a Maybelline Age Rewind stand. Still love her. She's always going to be invited to the party, but like this one's the host. So I just, it's just so good. Um, it just doesn't crease up on me. It brightens. It covers. I live. I breathe. Um, and then the setting powder. The only one that I care about um, from 2019, I had a lot of setting powder fails and a lot of cracking and a lot of issues. It was a dark year. Um, but this, hello, has changed my life. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Pressed Powder. Um, I have it in the shade one underneath my eyes in T-Zone today. It comes with this precious little puff that I do use to set everything now and it's got a mirror. Um, Oh my god, I won't go to, back to using anything else. And CoverGirl, if you ever discontinue this, Lord be with me, because I will lose my damn mind. Um, it's fixed all my issues. I no longer break apart. I can talk as much as I want, be as animated as I want, and my makeup staying put. I'm not getting creasing under my eyes. Um, everything just sets and stays wonderful throughout the day. Um, if you need a good powder, Check this out to set everything. Um, I haven't tried it as an all over face powder because I don't have a shade that would work for that. Um, both of these are really good under eye setting shades for me, um, just depending kind of on where I'm at and what level. I, like if I want a lot of brightness, I'm going in with a shade one. Um, both are very, very sheer. Um, I have baked with it as well and it works phenomenal for baking. I just cannot get enough of these and I thoroughly recommend them. And let's see now, contour. So I think that's the next step. Um, the only contour that I really used, I'm gonna just mention it. You can't get it, I don't think. Please don't hate me. But I feel like it needs an honorable mention because you might be able to find it at your local Marshalls, TJ Maxx, online, Amazon, I don't know. So this is from Too Faced. Um, I think it's literally the only Too Faced product that I use. And I got it on a whim because your girl needed a contouring palette and it was at TJ Maxx for $19 and this is what the inside looks like and I ha will literally use this to contour my whole face. I'll use this to bronze, this to highlight under my eyes and then this is a nice little shimmery highlighting moment. Um, I really like it. The colors work great and that was what I used this year. Shout out to TJ Maxx and hopefully you can find it. Sorry about that. Uh, bronzer. You can definitely still find this bad boy. So this is the Fenty bronzer. Um, mine is broken because we used her so much and we dropped her, but um, it just is beautiful. It's matte, so it's not going to pick up on any texture. So if you have skin texture, it's not going to do that. Um, blends absolutely beautifully. 
I use it every single day basically and I have not nearly hit pan, so there's quite a bit of product. Um, it's got 6.23 grams in here and I thoroughly believe that there's probably even more than that. I feel like if uh, Beauty News did a makeup breakup on this and weighed it, we'd probably get a little bit more because I feel like I use it every day and it doesn't go anywhere. Um, drugstore bronzer every year is the same physician's formula um i don't know where mine is right now i've been back and forth visiting my parents and it might still be packed but that's a really lovely one for blush there's two that i could not live without in 2019 this one you've seen probably so much you're sick of her this is the mac just a pinch extra dimension blush it's what i'm wearing today she's quite glowy quite dewy um just a really beautiful peachy shade um just look at that shine Oh, I live. And then also um, the Burt's Bees blush. This one is their peachy one. I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, quite pigmented, a little bit goes a long way, but it's a really, can you see both of these are almost the same color, except one shiny. Um, this one is a little bit more of a satin too. So I prefer that because I feel like it makes your cheeks just look really, really healthy. Um, I mean, I do have highlight on as well, but I mean, overall, it's just really beautiful product and neither of them enhance my texture more than I want it to. So we appreciate that. Um, for highlight, this is really the only one that I'm going to talk about because if I had to go anywhere, I'm going to bring this. So this is from Sugar Rush. It says Tarte's sister brand, I believe. Um, and this is their Fresh and Frosted palette. These are the shades. Um, this one looks white, but it really is a pale gold. I could use it even when I'm quite, quite tanned. Um, and I, it doesn't have a white base to it. It is a gold base. It's stunning. Um, all of these are so buttery. I find myself reaching for it every single day. This one's more like a cooler toned rose gold that I'll use on cool toned days. This one's a beautiful gold, and then this one's that paler gold too. Um, since they don't have a white base, I feel like they'd work on many, many different skin tones, except if you were maybe very, very fair. Um, it might not work, but well, no, that's a lie because even when I'm quite Caspery, it works. So those are just great. This is the only highlighting palette that I need. The other ones I might want, but I need her. I, I can't live without her. So good. Um, so moving right along to eyeshadow palettes. Need I say more? Um, like what the hell, Tati? Like we knew that you were gonna come to slay, but like you just brought the house down. Um, this is the best palette that came out of 2019 in my opinion. Um, and I used a ton of palettes. Everything from Miss Mother herself, Pat McGrath, to Jeffree Star, to Makeup Revolution, to Tarte. I used everything that came out basically for the most part. And this one was my standout product. Um, there's just so many beautiful colors and I think that it's just such an effortless, easy palette. I had one of the worst years of my life. Um, my depression and anxiety just like went on a roller coaster and just kept going up and it was just a fun, fun ride. So there were certain days where I literally was just so overwhelmed that I couldn't make decisions on certain things and pick things. And as soon as I got this palette, it was so easy to just create looks and just grab this. Because if you want, you could even just do the one row. And I did that quite a bit. Um, or play around with the rows. And it was just such an easy and really thought out palette and it just helped i mean i'm feeling a lot better with my emotions now um you know i've been very open on my channel that i you know do deal with different things um but a palette like this really just made it so easy for me um thank you so much tati because this is just such a lovely palette it's pigmented these shades right here are just so beautiful even just tapping it like it won't show on camera but it has the most gorgeous reflect glitter in it and you can just pat it on. Um, I've even used this on the high points of my face as a little bit of highlighter. The glitters are gorgeous and it doesn't even look like I've been touching it and I use it almost every day. So we're going to stop rambling, but I live and I breathe. A um, couple more palettes that I do just want to mention. Well, I'm here. 
Um, this one is for Makeup Revolution and I'm just laughing because like I've just destroyed it because I've used it so much. This is their Macaroon palette. This is the color story inside, which is my entire jam. Neutral, earthy tones. I love it so much. It comes with a giant mirror. I traveled with it constantly. Um, when I moved and got my new job, I was bringing it um, to training with me so I could just have a very easy palette. Um, this is kind of linking back to the Tati palette. Like this for me is an easy, just grab and go create multiple looks palettes. Um, you know, you've got beautiful green shades, you've got some aquas, you've got lots of browns. It's just truly a standout product for me. Um, I don't even know if this was, I bought this in 2019 or 2018. I think it was 2019, but I love it so, so, so much. Um, and then the last palette that just really, I think, um, I reached for constantly um, is this one, um, which... I don't know if I use it on camera quite as often, but it is just such a stunning palette. Um, so Beauty Bay is actually a UK based brand, but you can pick them up. They kind of, you can pick them up online and they'll ship it to the US. Um, this is the Identity palette. Uh, they kind of are like Ulta. You know how Ulta has their own makeup, except Beauty Bay's product's actually good. No shade to Ulta, but most of the things I try that are ultra brand do not blow my mind. This is beautiful. Um, I've used it quite a bit. I think this is the only one that I actually hit pan on, but it is just a stunning palette. Um, it actually is numbered so you can create looks going down or anywhere. Um, when I wear my wigs, this is actually the color that I use for my brows. Um, but I mean like even these shimmers, like what? Um, let's go over some mattes. Like it's just such, a stunning palette. You get this massive mirror. Um, this is a great one to travel with as well because you get this ginormous mirror. Um, but yeah, this palette I reached for time and time again. The best eyeliner ever is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Um, it has this tiny, tiny, precious little wand on it. It is, in my opinion, a dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Um, I know a lot of people do not support Kat Von D and her brand um, and are looking for alternatives to it. I would highly recommend to pick up the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's just so, so good. Um, and it lasts quite a bit. It does have like that little thing in there so you can shake it around. Um, but I get very precise um, cat eyes with it and I just thoroughly enjoy it and it's super cheap and I always keep them on deck because I cannot run out. I really hope I'm remembering everything. I feel like I'm gonna edit this and be like, girl, you left out an entire section of shit. Oh well, hopefully I didn't. Um, so we're gonna move right along to setting spray and then lips. I don't know why I'm going in that order, but I am. So we're just gonna bear with me. So this one I thoroughly enjoyed, 2019. Um, NYX Bear With Me uh, Setting Spray. This one is fabulous. It makes my skin feel really, really lovely. And um, I don't know if it has like hydrating qualities in it, but it makes me feel hydrated and it just sets wonderfully. And it's got a lovely gentle spray on it and it's just great. I also thoroughly loved I'm actually out and I need to get another one. Kylie setting spray is one of my favorite, favorites. Um, I hate the scent, like the passion. I hate the scent. It's like a rose kind of scent. Ugh. Reminds me of the Huda Beauty shit that she does, but it does set beautifully. It really does. Um, it doesn't break my skin out, which is weird because it is so heavily scented. Um, I think it's supposed to smell like rose water, but it just doesn't smell good at all to me. Um, but if you like the scent, more power to you. But it sets wonderfully. Um, so this one's going to make you laugh. But this is not an Urban Decay setting spray. So we're going to talk about this. So this is the ColourPop setting spray. Um, it's the one that came with the Pretty Fresh line. This is the Pretty Fresh uh, primer. So the Pretty Fresh setting spray. My nozzle was busted on mine. Like it kept squirting into like these crazy ass sprays. So um, I had an old de-slick that was gonna be in an empties video and I was like, I'm gonna put it in there. So this is actually my, uh, my ColourPop setting spray. I love it though. I thoroughly love it. It smells like coconut, which I don't necessarily love that it's scented, but it really does set my makeup beautifully and gives it more of like a dewiness. I thoroughly enjoy it and it makes it my makeup, if my makeup starts getting like 
dryer throughout the day, a spritz of this, and you're good to go. And then of course the actual Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Cult classic, it's so good. Um, I have been using this quite a bit just because I got this ginormous one um, and it's just so good. I refell in love with it all over again and I think that everyone should try it. Alrighty, so moving along to lips, my favorite combo um, right at the moment is these two from Patrick Todd's, what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's the She's Bold Liner and She's Unapologetic Liquid Lipstick. I like the liquid, lips, liquid lipstick, cannot speak, because um, it's very comfortable on the lips. It is long wearing um, and it has a mintiness to it. And I really like how um, the wand is shaped. It's kind of like this little moment and it's angled. And then the lip liner is the smartest thing. So you push it up, but the shape, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of, Maybe you can see it from the corner. It's like a kind of rectangle. So as you're going around, it covers the lips just beautifully and can go over everything. And it's just so good. And weirdly enough, my favorite gloss that came out of 2019 is this one from Pat McGrath. So this is the Astral Moon Flower. It has blue glitters in it but I love putting it over a nude lip so like this and it's kind of putting it all over and I feel like it doesn't turn my lips blue but I just get this really dope sparkle from it and I love it and it smells like vanilla and it is the best lip gloss ever I also had it in oh my god a really pale color and I can't remember I used that one up I had to throw it away um, cause there was nothing left, but I thoroughly enjoy this one over a nude. I just, it's just so pretty. Um, if you build it up on its own, of course, you're going to get that really cool blue, like from her Instagram videos, but just like this, super wearable, but you're going to get some really cool sparkle in the sun. Um, and you're not going to look like you have frostbite. So that's a good one. We're going to rewind a little bit really quick because we almost forgot brow products. I, I told you guys I was going to forget something. So... Top brow products are the ColourPop Brow Boss. I use it in the shade Taupe. I use it towards the front of my brows and I just love it so much. It's quite thin, um, so you can get really well up in there. I use the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder on the outside of my brow. I started using a powder instead of a pomade just because I wanted my brows to look a little bit more natural. My hair is quite, quite blonde. Um, you get, it's a little bit more icier in person than it pulls on camera just because I do have her pull a dark root, but I feel like the pomade brow it was just a little harsh for my everyday look and then I started using this and then I just can't stop. And then to set it, I really enjoy the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 5, which is a very dark shade, but I like going over it because it really helps enhance the brow hairs like a, I don't think I put brow gel in today, so we'll do it real quick. So you're just gonna see some enhancing in the brow hairs themselves, and it gives you a little bit more of like that bushy brow. Oh no! Oh, I wiped away quite easily, thank God. Um, but I really enjoy this because, um, especially with like icier blonde hair, I like a darker brow. I feel like it balances it quite nice, and that product is just so good. If you have an icier blonde hair with like the darker root, I do recommend to try that because then you get that really nice more separated brow moment and we just do it yeah I think that is it did we make it through we made it through guys uh hopefully you watched that on like a higher speed because my god this video has been long but thanks for hanging out with me um I hope you guys enjoyed my 2019 favorites um 2019 Super glad it's over. Who else is so ready for 2020? I feel like 2019 felt like one gigantic Mercury retrograde. Anyone else feel like that? Like just like the most effed up stuff kept happening again and again and again and again. Like I was watching Kendall Alfred's um, 
2019 favorite video and she was also saying she's like I hated 2019 I kept it was just the worst year and it really truly was so hopefully 2020 is great I turned 30 this year so I'm excited about that um hopefully going to Paris for my birthday which is really exciting plans but yeah so if 2020 could be kind to us just for the sake of my birthday that would be great anyways guys cheers to another year thank you guys so so much for all your love and support um i didn't when i started the channel i did not think i didn't know how long i was gonna be doing this i didn't expect to still be here two years later but we're here we're still growing hopefully my channel really truly grows this year um i am gonna have a very consistent upload schedule guys it's gonna be mondays thursdays and saturdays that's what i'm gonna commit to um with, I mean, obviously if I get super sick again, it's gonna throw it off a tiny bit, but that is the goal. Um, and then a vlog a week. So that'll probably be the Saturday video. Um, Cause I know you guys do like vlogs for me and I think it's fun to just sit and hang out with you guys and film some cool shit. So here we go. Thank you so much for another year. You guys are absolutely amazing. I hope 2020 treats you well and I will see you guys next year. Bye.